Hello. Hey, just give me a second here. <laughs> Hello. Turning up the volume. <laughs> oh. Can okay. You now it works. Can you hear me? Yeah. You hear yeah. me too? Oh, perfect. I think we're on. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> Fight uh, technology <laughs> frustrations. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it worked out in the end. Yeah. That's great. So good to, hear, to see you again. It's been two years. Can you believe that? Wow. No, I thought it was one year, but that's, yeah, time goes very fast nowadays. <laughs> no, it's just crazy. I can't believe it's two years. So, yeah, I can't uh, help it now. Start asking you, did you wash your hair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, not today, actually, but I hope it's not on the, you can see it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that really made me laugh. <laughs> Are you that friendly with your PR contacts? What? Are you so friendly with your PR contacts that they tell you to wash your hair? No, no, no. We don't know each other that well. So <laughs> maybe you've seen some pictures of me when I didn't wash my hair. So that's why I don't know. <laughs> or maybe that's the British uh, dry sense of humor. They're quite famous. Yeah, you could. With that as well. Yeah. Well, be, uh, yeah. Uh, congratulations on um, your new album. It's out today, right? Yeah, today. Yeah, today. Thank you. So you must be really excited. And uh, there was such a build up on uh, uh, Facebook as well and social media. So I'm sure everyone is really looking forward to, to seeing what's going on. So do you yeah, I hope so. There, there is a lot of releases, and I think there is another really famous release today. So I hope people will will have time to listen to uh, to Freefall as well. Well, uh, you mean doesn't you know, Metallica come out today? Is it today? Ah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I'm not hundred percent sure. <laughs> well, Zach Stevens um, from Sabotage, uh, he's releasing uh, a new album with uh, Arkan Angel today as well. Yeah. I was going yes, to... on Friday. Yeah. yeah, it's today. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was going to interview him on Tuesday, but I got a really bad migraine, so I had to reschedule for next week. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh, yeah, so do you want to tell me about the new album? I'm really intrigued how you select your um, singers because you don't repeat them, do you? Um, not this time. Uh... Normally, there are a couple of ones that returns, um, and I worked with the most of the singers before, but not this time. I think the only returning singer is uh, Jacob Samuel that he sang on the on the second Freefall album, uh, Kingdom of Rock. And um, we also had a band a long time ago. I think it's almost yeah, it has to be twenty five years that. Uh, uh, it's called Midnight Sun. I don't know if you heard of it, but it was a long time ago. So the rest of them are quite new to me. Of course, I did an album with Christian, with Ginevra. Uh, mm. When did it come out? Half a year ago or something? Mm, a few months ago. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, I I know the rest of the singers, you know, I, I listen to them. That, that's why I asked them, but I have never worked worked with them before and um, I have worked with a lot of my idols like Jolene Turner and Tony Martin and all those great guys and that's fantastic but I thought it, this time I thought it was cool to um, find some new voices I mean they are not that new but at least new to me so. Did you do it with the idea to help them with uh, their publicity a little bit or uh, was that not the idea? Uh, no, it was actually totally egoistic. <laughs> I, I did it because they sing great, not not. Uh, but if they if it can help them in any way, that would be fantastic. I don't know, but uh, of course that would be great. But I I, I choose them because they have a, a great voice, and I think they will they fit with my songwriting very well. So that's that's the uh, the reason. No, it's actually quite interesting to observe the singing because with the previous uh, free fall, each song was very individual. 
the case that's how I perceived it. And each, each song had its own character, if you wish, and uh, each single was very specifically making the song different. While here, it feels like it's all one big thing, and they, I can't sell, I can't say they sound similar, but I think they, they do quite, they do sing quite similarly, and it's very interesting that they're different people, different singers, but it's like one big project which is very coherent. So, uh, okay, that's that's how I um, I thought, and uh, I I must say, yeah, them I've never actually heard before. So it was you found really interesting voices which are quite matching together. Yeah, I for me they are quite different, but it's interesting to hear and. Um... Uh, it's very cool when you you can discover new singers like this. I just read on I don't know where on on I think it was on Facebook or somewhere that ah uh, now I'm starting to listen to Girish band because I like the song mm. on, on the Freefall album and that's really really cool. Mm. And um, yeah, in in that way I think it maybe helps. Yeah, the singers and me. Uh, we we all want to spread great music and great uh, singers. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, as you say, if you can help them go a little bit higher in their um, uh, fame, that would probably be a good thing. So, of course, it's very absolutely uh, a win-win, and good for me. Maybe exactly. they make me more famous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, are you uh, are you planning now that we're out of COVID? Have you got any plans to publicize it um, somehow with a tour or some concerts or so so what what is, is it yeah, it's only you and the drummer so you're a genius playing pretty much everything and if you have to tour you'll probably need to hire some extra people or can you do it all again we, just yourself yeah we would we actually had got some great offers and we have discussed it but it's really hard i i i guess i have to maybe ask a couple of singers i can't bring everyone that would be strange and mm. i would love to play something from all, all the albums in uh, so we have discussed it the problem is that i'm really booked in the studio <laughs> so it's hard for me to take the time the tour and uh, it's always the same uh, and uh, it's uh, if you you're gonna have a new new project and take that uh, and, and make a show that's is that's like preparing a whole tour so if i do one show i could you know do some sh festivals and maybe a, a small tour and uh, yeah I, i'm thinking about it but uh, let's see if we i can find time to do it but nothing is planned right now yeah, it's not like you're not used to touring with uh, Primal Fear, so it's, as you say, about your own... It's been a while, yeah, it's been a while I, I've toured with Primal Fear, and that's a different situation, because I'm just, uh, you know, one of them. a hired guitar player, mm -hmm. so someone else is just taking care about everything. I, I just have to worry about my, that mm -hmm. I can play guitar and stand up on a stage, that's it. Now, uh, it's well, a lot more work for me. Soul. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, but I would love to do it. And we got some great festival offers and I, I really thought about it. Could we do it and who, who would sing and everything? So, um, yeah, I'm thinking about it. Let's see. Well, if you decide to take up, just theoretically, to take up an offer to go to a festival, you've got the choice of bands. So who would you go to with? Freefall or Ferryman or, um, mm -hmm. I don't know. The festival that, that I... Uh, that I'm thinking about now, they asked me to do a kind of best of Magnus Carlson best of, oh, so okay. I, I, we would okay. maybe do something from from everything, maybe to even some Alan Land stuff or, or um, yeah, Ferryman and Freefall. Okay. Yeah, but it depends opera. what, yeah. yeah, that would be really cool Absolutely. too, but it depends what kind of singers I can get on get on board too because that's also thing everyone i work with are very successful and already touring a lot so it's hard to find time for them too hmm. but so uh, I, I i won't give up the thought but yet well we shall wait and see what happens in that case <laughs> yeah 
You said you booked up in studio. Do you want? Are you allowed to say what you're preparing? Absolutely. Uh, right now, uh, we are just done with the Primal Fear album. Maybe you read about it. So that's done and mixed now. And uh, I'm, I'm uh, even if I'm not touring, I'm still in the band playing. Uh, mm some guitar and I was uh, writing some songs with the guys and then now I'm working on uh, Annette's uh, Annette Olson's next solo album and uh, I'm also working what what no, number three sorry number three no um album. yeah I, I were have only worked with one solo album with Annette I, I did uh, Russell Allen and Annette, I have done two of those, mm -hmm. and uh, her solo album, uh, I've done one, but she did one before, so you're right, that's yeah, it's yeah, number yeah. three we are working on, but but I wasn't involved in the first one, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so that's what I'm working on now. And my old band, Last Tribe, I don't know if you remember it, but I had a band before everything started with um. Uh, Alan Land and that stuff. It, it was my first band on Frontiers uh, Music. Wow. Um, so you're back to that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're back to And uh, I, I'm just discussing with the singer Rickard because he's owning a, a big studio here in Sweden and he recording, you know, Arch Enemy and, and those kind of bands. And uh, yeah, we tried to find time so he can record vocals again for uh, the next Lo Lost Tribe. And after that, uh, uh, I will uh, start with the guys on the next Ginevra with, with, uh, okay. with Christian. So it's a lot of stuff. Uh, this year I don't have this, you know, really? any time for really? anything else. Yeah, it's fully booked and that's great. It's fun. I actually, I tried to take it easy and and slow down a bit, but it, it's so hard to uh, say no to fun stuff. <laughs> When you, when you can work with great people, you don't want to say no. But mm -hmm. uh, I have to admit, I, I would need some a little break. I thought you it was um, um, yeah sorry. Well, last week I thought um, you had a break in London, so that was really good to see uh, something from your family life rather than um, yeah constantly on the go. So hope you managed to yeah. relax a little bit. Did you have yeah, actually, days? yeah, you're right. I had a couple of days and it, it was great. It was the first time for my kids in London. And actually, I think it was the second time for me in London. I, I was there a long time ago and uh, was hit by a car when I was 15 oh, no. years old. And I was in hospital in London for 10 days. Oh, and uh, so my second visit now was much better. I, I didn't break anything and no har a car did hit oh. me. <laughs> I was going to ask you, have you been to London before? But I didn't realize it's such a traumatic uh, memory for you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know it was nice, but uh, a little strange. I think I was 15 or 14 or 15 years old. And <laughs> no. Do your children um, um, take interest in what you do? Are they interested in, in music? They, they are absolutely interested in music. I, I don't think they are that in interested in my music <laughs> they, they don't really understand why why do you have so much views on you know youtube <laughs> you, because he plays oh, strange it. rock music <laughs> so they are not into rock How old so are much they are 14 uh, twins that are 14 just you know, and uh, they all their older brother is uh, just turning 16 any any day now my son is 17 and a half and uh i don't remember how old, how long ago probably about a couple of years ago he started i've never um i've never tried to impose any of my music taste on him so completely off his own back a couple of years ago he started discovering white snake and rainbow and this kind of stuff and then he he asked for a guitar for his 16th birthday mm -hmm. and since then i've been listening to metallica pantera uh face no more mm -hmm. and uh he but yeah he doesn't quite appreciate uh, symphonic metal still but uh yeah he's uh -huh. really discovering heavy metal by himself and it's really interesting to watch yeah. grow like that because it's a different generation but they're still discovering the same uh great music 
although to be honest he he tells me about stuff i've never heard of before and when he plays it to me i'm like okay i should know this <laughs> so mm-hmm. it's uh, like two-way street to learn from the younger uh, generation so yeah that's great i think that's cool I, i think they i hope they will discover it on their own i don't i don't play anything for them and they hear me play guitar all the day <laughs> when they are home so Yeah, yeah. the way but the maybe. parental influence can actually work against us because they'll they'll think that we're forcing something on them. But um, yeah, we're not. Yeah, and I, if they hear a fast guitar player playing metal guitar, they are not impressed because they hear it all the time <laughs> in their home. I have they my studio here. What? They take it for granted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool, but. One of my sons, he he's playing piano and he's really good and he he like uh, uh, a lot, you know, soundtracks and that kind of music that I also like. So that's really cool. Mm, that's cool. Well, I hope that uh, yeah, <laughs> they will start uh, listening to your stuff. But you're their daddy, so yeah. What we what can we say? Yeah. Maybe it will happen now when they turn 16, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Are you planning anything new with uh, Ronnie Romero? And um, um, what do they call it? The Ferryman? Yeah. Uh, we discussed uh, next year, too, but we, we didn't decide anything. And he's, I know he's really busy mm. with a lot of touring and stuff. and. Mm-hmm. And uh, but uh, Frontiers asked us to find uh, some time in our schedule to do it. So yeah, it's not signed and decided, but we are discussing it. Yeah, he's. I was going to ask you what your normal schedule is like. Whether you mainly stay at home or whether you go meet people. But by the sound of it, you spend a lot of time in actual studio. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we. I, I talk to people like we do now on on zoom and stuff or uh, and uh, just email mm. and i i can make uh, most of the music from here so and sometimes i have to go to studio for for the drums or something like that do you find that since covid uh, ended things are a bit awkward or different because uh, everyone had this uh influx of ideas in music when everyone was in lockdown and producing so much stuff but mm-hmm. also people sort of learn to just work at home and not meet with others so is that feeling now different or is it very good to actually be out there and meeting people again in terms of music productivity i mean yeah it's great that we can do it but for me it's not a big difference because uh, i was before the covid i worked a lot from home anyway so for me it was just easier during the covid because uh, i could do the heart healer album and no one was touring so i, I could get um, the vocals easier if i would do it now maybe i would have to wait more for uh, the singers to come home from tour before they could record and stuff So for me, it made it made it a bit easier actually to to um, yeah get everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sounds like it. But of course, I I mean I'm a big fan of music and I I love to go to shows and stuff and that that feels great to do it again. Absolutely. What kind of uh, gigs do you like to go to? Is a fan. I mean, I could go to any gig. I was uh, when was that? It was almost a year ago. I think it was right after the COVID. The first the first gig I went to was Magnum with Bob oh. Catley, and uh, okay. and that was so spontaneous. But because I I didn't know they played in Malmo, uh, and I just saw it on the on my Facebook uh, on a friend's Facebook. Wow, I'm I'm going to Magnum, and I said, Wow, are they playing tonight? And I just I just got a ticket and it was not a big club, but it was really full and it was such a great show. They are, you know, they are I don't know, 17, 17 or something and they delivered oh, yeah. really, really good. <laughs> it sounded great. Mm. 
and I listened to them since I was, you know, 12 years old or something. So it was the first time I saw them. It was great. Yeah, they're one of the big legends, aren't they? It's very yeah. interesting to see them all um, still doing their thing. I was hoping to go to, um, um, well, not really to Aussie, but um, to Aussie's concert uh, in, I think it was February 2019. Uh, he had this tour together with Judas Priest. So as much as I yeah. appreciate his role in music, I'm not really a fan of Ozzy, but uh, I've never seen Judas Priest live. So I got myself the the ticket. And I don't know if you're aware of the whole story, but uh, that was supposed to be February 2019. And then he had pneumonia or something, or chest infection, and they delayed it to February 2020. 2020 and or maybe April, and then COVID happened, and then delayed it until whenever, and then eventually until April 2023. And only like a couple of months ago, they decided to eventually cancel it because of his poor health. So, um, but I was more uh, yeah, heartbroken about Judas Priest, because I want to see them. <laughs> yeah, but may they won't quit, I guess. So well, I you have a not. chance to maybe... <laughs> I hope not, but yeah, so, uh, everyone started um, yeah hitting that page when you're worried about how long are, are they going to be here, and I want to see them. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's really frustrating. yeah. That's my favorite band. So yeah, I, I saw uh, Ozzy and Judas Priest, and also Iron Maiden, and it was a great lineup on uh, Sweden rock, and um, that must have been right before COVID. And uh, that, that was actually the only time I, I've seen Ozzy. And uh, yeah, it was great, what actually. the legacy of the Beast of Iron Maiden, the big tour? Mm. The legacy of the Beast? With Maiden. Yeah, I think it was, yeah. Oh, that, yeah, I've heard that was uh, fantastic. They're doing, they're coming. Yeah, the Maiden was really delivering. <laughs> they, they were great. Mm. They're coming to London in May, I think. And, uh, my son's got uh -huh. two tickets, so I may go with him. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I don't know how long we've got. I think Zoom will disconnect probably in a couple of minutes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, what I wanted to say actually before I uh, before I forget, um, at this time I'm hoping to put this interview on three different platforms. So when I uh, type it all up, it will go again on the Midlands Rock website as before. And if all the recording is uh, done properly, um, I'm going to post it on my YouTube channel and I'll share the link so people can see the recording. And um, there is a Bulgarian, um, so I'm originally Bulgarian, I don't know if I've told you. Um, there is a Bulgarian um, rock radio that I contribute to every so often, uh, Bad Rock Radio. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we manage to get the translation and the technical bits done, some of it will go on the Bulgarian uh, radio as well. So okay. Hopefully there'll be a bit more exposure. And they've actually yeah. asked me, um, I don't know if you're happy to do that. So, um, they, you know, uh, the, the short jingles they do for the radio. Yeah. They call it voice yeah. ID. So they asked me whenever I interview anyone famous, if you could, if you don't mind, saying like a short to make a short clip saying hello i'm magnus carlson and um you're listening to uh bad rock radio if you're happy to do that they would be very grateful absolutely i just have to get the word right bad b a b b a d like bad b -A -D. ah bad bad rock radio okay oh, bulgaria oh with or without bulgaria it's ah, so I should say Bad Rock Radio, Bulgaria. Yeah. Okay. Then I got it. Well, just yeah. Hello, I'm Magnus Carlson, and yeah. you're listening to blah blah. Absolutely. Blah. Yeah. Okay. Can I start? Yeah. Hello. You are. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> I will take it again. <laughs> okay. Take two. Hello. This is Magnus Carlson, and you are listening to Bad Rock Radio, Bulgaria. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that should do. Thank you very much. I hope they can use that. They need to cut and whatever. They, they know their job. So, yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. is there anything you want to say to the um, 
British fans before we finish? Yeah, I uh, really hope that, like we talked about, um, that even if it's uh, you don't know all the names of the singers, that you give it a chance and check out, check them out because. Uh, it's not uh, any random singers that I have found. Um, they are all really good and um, hand-picked, you know. <laughs> so uh, if you don't know the names, may maybe you will discover something really, really cool that you continue to listening to. Definitely. Great. Well, I wish you best of luck with the uh, promotion and the sales. I hope, I hope it's a great success. And, uh, Thank you very much. I can, yeah, I'll do what I can to uh, publicize it. And uh, yeah, it was great talking to you. The same again, and uh, I hope we'll get to talk again whenever you've got some other news. Yeah, I, I think I will have more albums in in the future to talk about. Cool. <laughs> We're looking forward to that. Yeah. Okay. Take so, care. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.